right, welcome to Hell of a Week. Uh, we got a new show title, but I'm keeping that same, calling out the bullshit so you don't step in it. Energy, okay? Uh, I'm honored to be joined tonight by one of the greatest panels in late night. Uh, I'm of course I'm going to say that because it's my panel. Uh, he's a writer, columnist, and podcaster, which I'm told is no longer a job you have to be embarrassed about. It's the host of the Conversation with Coleman podcast. Make some noise for Coleman Hughes, y'all. How you feel, Coleman? You good? Yes, I'm good. Yes. All right. Uh, she's led so many Democratic candidates to the primary playoffs that she should get a 30 for 30. Please welcome political strategist and New York Times best-selling author of Any Given Tuesday, Liz Smith. Make some noise for Liz Smith, y'all. How are you, Liz? I'm feeling good, feeling okay. good. Okay, And last but certainly not least, uh, his new stand-up special, Infamous, made so much money that the only recession he knows is the name of the scripper he made it rain on at his bachelor party. Hey! Please welcome my friend, uh, host of the Flagrant 2 podcast and Brilliant Idiots, comedian Andrew Schultz. <laughs> Hezzy, how you feel? I'm good, man, I'm good. I don't, I don't even know where to begin, man. It's been a hell of a week, man. The Biden administration has offered to trade a Russian arms dealer named the Merchant of Death in exchange for WNBA star Brittany Griner. That would be historic, because it would be the first WNBA trade any of y'all ever cared about. <laughs> All right? That's good. But let's talk about the real story tonight. <laughs> Topic one. Now, I was watching The View the other day, and uh, Morris Chestnut was on there making some really good points. Let's watch. Mm talking about Liz Cheney. And there are some people, like me, who see her as a profile in courage, as a historical figure, uh, as somebody who's put... Liz Cheney? Yes. How do you see oh. her? Not at none of those things. Wow. I, I he, agree. I he's agree. handsome. Morris Chestnut, right? Morris Chestnut is one of the better-looking men I've ever seen in my life. I agree. I agree on that, and I agree with Morris Chestnut that Liz Cheney is not a hero. Okay, with that said, I want to ask my panel, what is she? Look. None of us pay a price for criticizing Trump, for criticizing the big lie. We don't lose friends. We don't lose job opportunities. She lost all of that, and she's probably going to lose her job. And that's the definition of courage, is to do the right thing when it doesn't benefit you, when it hurts you. So she's principled. Wow. Okay. I disagree, but Liz? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say... I'm not going to say she's a hero. Okay. But I'm going to say she is an ally when we need one most. This is about the future of our democracy. This is about a president who uh, tried to steal an election, incited a violent insurrection, mm -hmm. and 99% of the Republican Party is too cowardly, to your point, mm -hmm. to um, stand up to him, because they know there's a political price. And at least she's doing that. So I will accept her as an ally at the moment. I don't think you can say somebody's trying to pres uh, preserve democracy if they voted against voting rights, though. Like, she voted against the John Lewis Voting Rights Act after January 6th. Look, but I she could have had a lot of reasons for doing that. Like, say you believe... Yeah, she don't want black people to vote. <laughs> Schultz. Um, look, I, when me and my friends went down uh, to the Capitol on January 6th... <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know, we were trying to uphold democracy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we... we in a strange way. In a strange way. In a strange way, way yeah. You know, we did our best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then now you have Liz Cheney, who looks like the old man from Up, yapping... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. ...nonstop about yeah. what we did, calling us traitors. Taking we're credit for y'all work. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, when she really wanted to be out there with y'all. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. With the Viking hat on. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so... She, she's not a hero, okay? If you don't want black people to vote, you could never be a hero. Also, she did not vote on abortion legislation and praise the Supreme Court for striking down Roe v. Wade. What do you say about that, Liz? Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's move on to topic two. All right. Now, after 60 years of imminent warnings, the environment has become about as toxic as Future's music, mm. all right? But a growing number of environmentalists want to look to save the U.S. by encouraging us to eat bugs, all right? Even celebs like Lupita Nyong'o, Angelina Jolie, and Nicole Kidman are swapping out their morning cereal for cinnamon toast crickets. Is this what's finally going to make us get serious about climate change? Like, we're okay with California burning down, but a, a number one from cockroach filet is a bridge too far. <laughs> huh? I, I, I eat ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried about cockroaches. I'm not worried yeah. about crickets. I'm not worried about nothing. I eat ass you, whole, bro. We're going to do what we got to do to survive. Exa no, I do it for fun. I'm not even surviving. I have dinner, and then I eat it for dessert. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm not worried about cockroaches, I get bro. it. Liz, what say you? 
look, as a Democrat, this issue frustrates me because I do mm. not think we effectively communicate about it. Oh. And because I love my fellow American people, but we all have to admit we are a selfish people. The only thing they care about is the here and now, what's right in front of them. That's right. So how do we communicate about climate change to um, make it matter for them? Well, we talk about Hurricane Sandy, how it destroyed their homes, and now their uh, flood insurance is $2,000 a month. That was because of climate change. Liz, do you want to eat okay. bugs or not? No, and you know why? Why not? You know why? Why because, not? Because I'm doing one better for, okay. the, for the planet. I'm a vegetarian, okay. and that's the best thing you can do for the planet. So, would you on, eat the bugs? On, so, no, so, no, wait. I'm going to eat the bugs. You're going to eat the bugs? I just want to say something. Okay. You're eating the bugs' food. That is true. Bugs eat plants. Right? Ha <laughs> ha! So you're not doing any better. You want a spoon? I'm no, shaving the You want a raw doggy with the fingers? Absolutely, bro. Okay. We're already Liz, cricket. come on, Liz. You're on the left. I, come on. I, I, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Coleman? I'm not come doing it. I'm a vegetarian. What do you mean? They're plant-based. I know, she no. She says she's a vegetarian. They're plant-based. They're delicious. Come on, Coleman. I was delicious. Come on, Coleman. That's actually not that bad. Come Mine? on, Coleman. Oh. Did you eat one? No, I didn't eat one. Oh, it's kind of good. Where, where, did you, where did you get these, though? Huh? Where did you? Don't hum me. <laughs> I just ate mosquitoes, bro. Where did you get the goddamn insects? Don't hum me. I don't know where they came from. So. <laughs> I don't know where you buy bugs in this city. There's some, like, I mean, there's a lot. There. There's a lot of. There's listen, a lot the one of I ate was there. not that bad. I will listen, be honest. Listen, here's the thing. Uh, there are countries that eat these all the time. This is, that is part true. of the diet. That is it's true. a normal thing. That is true. You know, one, one they, thing. they come here so they can stop eating bugs. No, they yeah. come here and they clearly start selling them. Yeah. And maybe we're being bigots. Yeah. I know this. One thing's for sure and two things for certain. Biden, Pelosi, and Trump won't have to worry about eating bugs because by the time Bro. this actually becomes a thing, bugs will be eating them. All right? Oh. <sighs> Topic three. Wait, you're saying they'll be dead? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what. <laughs> No, All right. By you. <laughs> okay, uh, world-renowned amateur gynecologist Nick Cannon said this, said this on the Lip Service podcast. I, I believe there's about 80% of women that probably need assistance when it comes to fem female hygiene. Mm -hmm. I have to start with the, the, the woman on the panel. Uh, Liz, should we take Nick's word on this? Um, my word on it, my advice to him is that he probably needs to shut the f up. Let's go, Liz! All right. And, and the other thing I'd like to say to the women of America, maybe stop letting him impregnate you. Oh. <laughs> Wiley! 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 <laughs> My daddy used to say, if it smells like cologne, leave it alone. If it smells like fish, eat all you wish. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs>